Hey guys, how's it going? This is Michael Liao from Worldviews. As you can see, I'm just doing this little vlog in the comfort of my studio. Um, in other words, it's actually my room. As you can see, there's that Coke can right behind me. So I'm a total, total mess. But it's good. My room, you know, I don't have to pay for a studio to do this. Uh, I'm too broke for that. But anyways... I wanted to do this video as a review of the debate that I did with Josh. Uh, if there's one thing that I learned from doing this debate, it is this. Uh, Josh and I, you know, we have different theological uh, views on the salvific work of God. And so for me, I emphasize more on the sovereignty of God, and then he emphasizes on free will and, and how man has the responsibility to choose. Uh, if there's something that I really wanted to comment, it's this. Um, Josh, you know, when he emphasizes on human responsibility, and obviously when God, and I agree with him that when God judges us, uh, you know, it's not, we can't blame God. Uh because, you know, we ended up unsaved in the end. Uh, it was, you know, we are responsible to come to Christ. Uh, I really honor my brother in this, and here's why. I think that for whether you're a Calvinist or an Arminian, uh, you know, or some person in the middle, I don't know how that works. <laughs> but the thing is... Uh, what Josh really taught me in this debate was, uh, am I really going to allow all of Scripture to speak? I think that one of the mistakes that we can make is that um, <clears throat> we emphasize one Bible verse over another, or we emphasize one chapter over another, when the Bible shows both. It shows that you know, tension, the sovereignty of God and the responsibility of man. And, you know, if we want to be honest in, you know, delivering, you know, the Bible to people or delivering the gospel to people, we need to be, uh, we need to be an open book with the scriptures. We don't want to just emphasize one verse over another. Uh, and that's because, uh, let's say, for example, if I emphasize more on the sovereignty of God, uh, and then you know, in, and then you know, I don't emphasize on human responsibility, then that can get a, get to a point where a person can just find an excuse to sin and be like, "Oh, well, God is sovereign, so you know what? I'm just going to sit here and wait until He saves me." Well, <laughs> you know, as much as the Bible does say, "No one can come unto Me unless the Father draws him." Uh, in the same chapter, it also says, whoever comes to me, I will never cast out. Uh, and in Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 to, uh, to 30, it says, Come unto me, all ye who are weary and heavy laden, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am meek and lowly at heart, and you shall find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Um, and the second thing is, you know, we are to just simply preach the gospel to people, regardless of if you're an Arminian or a Calvinist. Uh, if you're preaching Calvinism and not the gospel, that's a problem. Because then uh, it might get the, the, the person who is sitting in the church pew to be confused. And they'll be like, I don't know if I'm elect. I don't know if I'm chosen. Well, you know, the answer then, then you know, that can be a bit of a problem, and then uh, you just have to really tell them, look, like, uh, if you have a desire to come to Christ, that means God is working in you, you are being convicted, so take that conviction and come to Christ as yourself. Uh, there has to be uh, that emphasis. Uh, so, uh, you know, are we going to allow all of Scripture to speak? Uh, I think that Josh really emphasized that in the closing statement of our debate. And I really, really thank God for my brother Josh. Uh, he's such an encouragement to me. Uh, so, you know, the question is right now, uh, for you now, uh, who, like, you know, if you're a Christian and just, you know, regardless of where you come from, are you going to let God... Um, 
are you going to let the full counsel of God speak? That's just, it's a simple question. Um, if you think that Calvinism helps you to glorify God, then go ahead. And if you're an Arminian and you think that Arminianism helps you to glorify God, then, hey, you know, I have nothing against you at all. Uh, I, I can fellowship with my brother Josh simply because he is a believer in Christ. Uh, sometimes we care more about Calvinism and Arminianism. We care more about that than Jesus. That's the truth. And and then if you just emphasize one Bible verse over another, it's idolatry. So I just want to put this video out there that uh, I, I, I've just been very humbled by my uh, brother Josh here and by God himself. And, uh, you know, and I just pray that you know, this debate, if you haven't watched it yet, please check it out. I, I pray that this debate will also uh, humble you guys uh, who are watching um, so that, you know, so that you will honor God the, the way that he wants to be honored. Um, so, yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, I, I thank God for this and, um, you know, thank you for watching. And God bless. Uh, hopefully you guys will uh, check out more, more of the upcoming episodes of Worldviews. Anyways, take care. Bye-bye.